Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph. Today's video is a super exciting collab with two amazing creators over here on YouTube. That is Erica Conga and Makeup by Marina. Two wonderful, wonderful people. I will tell you a bit more about as we go through the video. Um, but I just want to get started. So we decided, as you will have seen by the title, to create looks around what what the carnival means to us you know what what we think of so i pulled out my w7 mardi gras palette this is the exact copy of the uh, love tahiti palette from be perfect which i wanted to replace for my own reasons um which we won't go into on this video um i also pulled out my beauty bay bright palette is the 16 color palette so i'm going to jump straight on in with the beauty bay bright palette and i'm going to go into hello sunshine the yellow so I've already primed my eyes with the ABH eye primer. I love it. And where it's a, a paler shade, I think it really makes the uh, colours pop. So just starting out on the inner part with this. So for me, when I think of the carnival, I think of the Notting Hill Carnival, the very famous, amazing carnival that unfortunately i have never managed to get to however a few of them from the notting hill carnival used to come over to the isle of wight for the ride carnivals for the uh the illuminated carnival and as a kid it was just one of my favorite times of year it was just full of colour full of fun happiness i i loved it so much and the music until recently i didn't know what kind of music it was um and back when i was a kid we didn't have the internet to search these things up so i was recently introduced to soca music from the wonderful owner of island play cosmetics and as soon as i started playing this uh this playlist over here on youtube that i'd found i was like oh my god it's the notting hill carnival and i was in my element so yeah i listened to some soca music a soca playlist and one of the specific notting hill carnival playlists as I was getting ready to film this look. So, on to my, what do you call them, collaborators? <laughs> the collaborator, the collaborators. On to my beautiful friends. So, I will start with Makeup by Marina. Now, Marina has been a subscriber of mine for quite a long time and one that I I was extremely fond of, just a wonderful, beautiful person and, and just a just all round beautiful person. And it wasn't until Erica did a collab with her that I realised or I found out that Marina had her own channel. I was straight on over there. I had to check it out and I I have to say she is just one of the most calming influences over here on youtube she is just so calming and just so just wonderful she's such a wonderful person she is another lover of colorful makeup i'm just packing this up here just to make sure we've got this as bright as possible so yeah, Marina's a, another lover of very colourful makeup. Um, so the three of us, well, I turned 40 in a couple of months. So if you're looking for colourful makeup in the over 40s, um, then both makeup 
by Marina and Erica Conga. Just amazing channels that you need to check out. So I headed on over. I could not understand why people hadn't found her. Um, I think partly because she didn't do much to kind of um, encourage people over. I think she lacked in some confidence there. But she has some awesome colour skills. And she just creates beautiful, colourful looks. She has a wicked sense of humour also. Right, let's dip into the Mardi Gras. Let's put that one down. I will be using, oh, I'll just use the brights one. Save me having too much on the desk. So let's, I'll be using the mirror from this palette um, just because this is huge and I don't have a massive amount of strength. And I want to get through this video still feeling happy. So I am going to... Oh, am I? Yes. Yes, I am. So I am now, now I've made up my mind what I'm doing, going to dip into Alter Ego, which is this beautiful bright orange. See, when I think of the carnival, Notting Hill Carnival, it's all bright in your face colours, feathers, happiness, great music. So we are going bright. So where was I? Um, I may go off on a tangent a bit because I, I just struggle to think straight and I recently found out that it's actually down to the medication I'm on. Um, so yeah, anyways, let's see how bright we can get this. So whew. So before we move on to Erica, I will beg, please, please, please go check out Makeup by Marina. She deserves so, so much more love than she is receiving. I love her. Marina, I love you, girl. She has become a wonderful friend. And yeah. You will all love her, I promise you. So, on to Erica. And again, I met Erica as not only one of my subscribers, but I I knew who she was from a lot of my fellow creators on here, beautiful friends who I watched before I started my channel. So I knew who Erica was because she has always been just such a wonderful support to a lot of these creators and um, it wasn't until we started really chatting um, in the comments of, of my videos that we really clicked like really clicked so we started talking like off of social media and have discovered that we are so alike it is unreal we have so much in common um both erica and her family have become my family too um and the same the other way around it is it's just been amazing it's been so good um i kind of feel like they were the piece missing if that makes sense. I love them all so much. Um, but Erica was like hinting that she she would love to to start a channel, but she wasn't sure. Um, so yeah, I encouraged her. And uh, she puts a lot of, well, she gives me a lot of credit for that, which all I did was encourage her to to do what she wanted to do anyway. And my word, she she was worried about it for, I don't know why, she is a natural on camera, an absolute natural. I don't know why she credits me for anything because I feel like she puts me to shame. She is so good and just 
a really warm and inviting person you can't help but smile um just feel like she's your best friend when you're watching her videos so yeah erica like i said has become like family she's my sister i love her and her family i adore they know this so yeah head on over to both channels as soon as you finished watching this video you will find both of their channels linked in the description box below if i am feeling if i'm feeling up to it up to it's the wrong word hmm staff think think if i'm feeling fancy we're, we're just gonna steal nikki raven's words for that if i'm feeling fancy then i'll have to individual videos linked also but you'll find them from their channel links anyway and um, so yeah we decided to do a collab well i say we it was erica that really got the ball rolling really instigated this and they were trying to think of a theme i suggested the carnival just purely because everybody's interpretation of the carnival is different i feel and there are different carnivals across the world that that differ greatly i'm not worried about being too precise it's more about the color so where are we at now what did i want to go with from orange bright pink bright pink let's go for some bright pink so I am next going in with, from the Beauty Bay Brights palette, Make Them Wink, which is this really bright pink. So yeah, the idea for this collab was then just out there and we kind of decided together when we would all be free to film, which for me is pretty much most of the time dependent on my health obviously um because i have some days that i can't film or sometimes i feel okay in the morning and within a couple of hours of being up i don't feel okay again um but yeah we decided obviously on today's upload as today wow steph put it together so here we are Now, when I think of the Notting Hill Carnival, these colours I'm using are the ones that really come to mind. I just, I can see bright feathers, bright, bright headdresses, bright makeup, just dancing, smiling, singing, amazing music. It is just, just the happiest scene. You could not watch the Notting Hill Carnival and feel sad it is just it's like the place to be well I say that I've never actually been obviously I've said this already to the actual Notting Hill Carnival which is high on my list of things to do um, but I have obviously seen a portion of them when they used to come over to the Isle of Wight the Ride Carnival and they were amazing amazing i think a lot of people went pretty much purely to see them you know, no offense to the rest of them um but it was something that you just didn't see on the isle of wight and it was just so engaging just so engaging right where are we going where are we going to now right so the next color i'm going in with is beads which is this kind of bright purple so yeah the carnival was always a really really happy time just so much fun so much fun so yeah i am going to be intrigued just to to see what kind of Erica and Marina's idea of what they think of when they think of the carnival 
it's going to be really interesting I'm still not worried about blending or anything as yet although these are all blending together beautifully it's the first time using the W7 Mardi Gras palette um, it I'm ashamed to say it's been sat sat in my box of shame for a while and I kept meaning to film with it but other things just kind of came up so yeah here I am now yeah like I was saying I am going to be what I'm going to be I am so interested interested intrigued looking forward to finding out what Erica and Marina's thoughts are of a carnival because I have purposely not asked either of them any questions surrounding this just so that when I watch the videos it is going to be a nice surprise I think I've lost the pink there so I will bring it back in a minute or have I well, I don't know no no she's still there she's still there it's all good it's just me pretty okay so while I have a think about what's coming next I'm just going to start blending these shades out a bit and into each other a bit I do want to kind of bring the color over to connect them like the two eyes so almost like kind of butterfly wings just slight connecting across the middle I won't do too much because I still need to do my base and bringing that yellow just down under a little bit I'm not going too much because I am going to do my base before continuing with the under eye Ooh. I'm actually going to stick with the Beauty Bay Brights palette and I'm going into Drama Queen which is the deep purple and I am using that just on this outer outer edge here and I'm just stamping first blending into there just a touch I will more than likely use the other purple to blend into this obviously this is a deeper much deeper purple Now it's packed down I'm just going to be bringing it out huh? oh, this is so much fun so guys when you think of the carnival what is it you think of So obviously I know a lot of you from different places in the world. How is it different in different countries? Let me know, I'm super intrigued. Yeah, before we continue, I'm going to nip off and do my base and then I will be back to continue the eye look with you guys. So don't go anywhere. Okay, so I've done my base, I've done some tidying up. I've had a think. And so I'm going to continue with Drama Queen and the look should start coming together so I'm just taking it from here so 
at the moment it is just sketching out just sketching out the shape <laughs> The next colour I'm going in with is from the Beauty Bay Brights palette again and it is Pacific Dreams which is the bright blue. So I'm going to be flitting between the two palettes um, for the whole of this because they just both have the most perfect colours. I've got hair on that I think. Did I get it? I'm blind. Right. And so the blue is literally going to come in here so continuing as you can see to map out the edge of the wing i still do i want to line it uh, we'll have a look when this is all done this bit so i'm tapping it over the join i will do some more blending in a bit <laughs> I should have warned everyone that this was going to be a long video. I will try and speed up as much as I can. Um, so yeah. But this is fun. So next I'm going to firstly dip into a bit of Oasis from the Beauty Bay Brights palette and I'm just going to use that just as like the bridge between the blue and the green that I want to use. Okay, so I am now going in with Shamrock from the W7 Mardi Gras palette and then I'm just going to continue, continue the wing. I do have to say, although I'm finding the shades in this W7 Mardi Gras palette amazing, I think the formula of the Beauty Bay palette kind of outshines it if that makes sense so I'm just continuing that right up to there I'm loving this I love it when I get to use more than one palette to create a look because whilst I do love to do looks using like one palette I think when you've got the option for more it kind of opens up your creativity that bit more And then I am going into, I'm so excited for this one, I'm going into Acid from the W7 Mardi Gras palette. I have high hopes for this because this colour is just absolutely stunning. So let's see. Pack it on. Ooh, are you going to come out as beautiful as we are hoping for? Guys, keep everything crossed. <laughs> because this colour, if it works out, is just going to... Yeah, I'm not sure it's quite as impactful on the eyes in the pan, but I'm going to continue trying to build it up because this has been the colour I've been most excited for. 
that. Okay, I take it back. This is beautiful. Any blending that needs doing, I will, I will get done in a bit. But let's just, oh wow, oh wow. This is absolutely stunning. This colour is sick. Yes, okay, I'm happy. I'm really excited to see what Erica and Marina have done or are doing. I don't know if they've filmed yet. So I'm literally just continuing to pack it on just to make sure that I have the vibrancy that I'm wanting from this shade. It is beautiful. Excuse my old crinkly skin. God. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. And then, where's my yellow one? And then dipping in to Yellow Sunshine from the Beauty Bay Brights palette. I'm just going to try and do it so you can see. Just intensify that inner area and then drag it into that green. Okay, so I'm going to quickly get these blended better and then I'll come back to continue. So just stay where you are. Okay, so I may have changed direction slightly. Um, but yeah, so let's, <laughs> let's continue. So using the Dark Purple Drama Queen from the Beauty Bay Brights palette, I'm just going to just make sure that right in here is deep. I will, for a lot of this, I will just speed through with music because otherwise this video is going to be hours long. So, I'm going to get going. Then in with beads. So I'm going to continue with the same shades. Um, so there's beads, then there is Make Them Wink from the Beauty Bay Brights palette, then Alter Ego, oh crikey, then <laughs> Alter Ego from the W7 palette. And then Hello Sunshine from the Beauty Bay palette. So I will do this quietly now so that I can uh, speed things up. So now, have I got that right? Now let's have some fun with some Cake It Liners. So I am first going to use the um, Cake It Liner from Artitude Cosmetics in the shade Adore. It's black. 
Right, so I've got a little pot of water, so I'm just going to wet my brush and have a wiggle in here. And I'm just wiggling my brush around in here just to get it coated. The, these liner brushes from Makeup by Tammy Cosmetics are amazing, I tell you. Alright, so let me work out what I'm doing here. Okay guys, so this is taking a long time. I do not want this video to be super long. This is a collab video, so I'm gonna nip off and finish all this detailing and then I will come back to show you the finished look. So uh, don't go anywhere. Okay guys, so I may have got a little bit carried away, um, but the all of the cake it liners I used are from Artitude Cosmetics. I will have them listed in the description box below along with everything else I have on my face. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I cannot wait to see what Marina and Erica have done. Oh, thank you so, so much for collabing with me. Both of you, I love you so, so much. I cannot wait to see your videos. So if you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a like, thumbs up, because that really helps me out. If you are new around here, this is a bit different from the norm. However, I'm trying to incorporate a bit more fun, um, but usually you will see colorful looks on my channel. I'm a huge supporter of indie brands and I will only use cruelty free products. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next time I upload. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye. Thank you.